Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of The Articulate Fly, and we're back with the first Central Virginia Fishing Report of the new year with Ethan Martin at Tail Tellers Fly Shop. How you doing, Ethan? We're doing great today. How are you doing today? As always, just trying to stay out of trouble, and I guess the big news in Central Virginia is it went from being almost tropical around Christmas and New Year's to getting a fair amount of snow. Yeah, that was an incredible weekend. It went from being, like you said, it was like 60-ish degrees on Sunday, and then um, Monday, the very next day, I was supposed to go and fish all day, and uh, you know, kind of last minute looking at the weather, I thought, maybe this is the best plan. And uh, yeah, sure enough, we got a fair amount of snow, um, and it actually stuck, which was shocking. So um, it, it'll be good, you know, kind of raising some of the levels of the rivers back up. But yeah, I guess winter finally decided to show up. Yeah, and I guess it's going to kind of warm up and cool off again this weekend and then get to kind of what it's seasonable normals, high 40s, low 50s. But, you know, really, like you said, great you're getting water in Central Virginia because it's been low. Yeah, that's, that's been a struggle. Um, and it, it's kind of sad because I've had, you know, a lot of people came in for the holidays. But they come and, you know, where should we go fishing? And the reality is is that there's just not a ton of water um, for really anything what you want to do unless you want to fish a lake um because uh, the brook trout streams um those have all been pretty low same thing with the stock trout waters same thing on the james for people wanting to catch muskie um so pretty much any style of fishing you wanted to do you know as of a week ago was super low and then it, it did um it ticked up a little bit with the rain that we got before the snow um, and then the, the snow itself. So will it make it high water levels? No, it won't. Will it even make it average? No, but <laughs> we're better than, than the crazy low that we were before. So uh, I'm, I'm thankful for that because it should be a, a pretty good week of like brook trout fishing next week um, for the people that are interested in doing that. Yeah, and I think there's some more rain in your forecast, but I think probably the wrinkle folks should be aware of is you know, that cold, even though it's going to warm up, the water temperature is probably going to drop a fair amount because that snow melt is really going to drop the temperatures in the in the creeks and the rivers. Yeah, that, that freaks people out a lot of times when you get those crazy amounts of snow, or whatever, you know, crazy for Virginia, which is like maybe seven inches. Um, but yeah, then the next day or maybe two days later, you get those like 50 degree days and you would assume, oh, well, now I can go and fish. But like you said, that melts the snow, which then puts this uh, ice or colder water um, straight into the stream. So it usually does tend to, to drop, uh, which then means, you know, well, like we just said right before the podcast, low and slow um, is usually the, the name of the game. Finding the holes that the fish are in and dredging something off the bottom is usually your ticket. Yeah, and it's funny too, right? Because in the flip side of that, it's when it's really cold and it rains, it actually warms the water up. Yep. Yeah. So it, it's one of those things that winter fishing can be very temperamental because you have uh, a lot of variables that change day by day. And like in the spring, everything kind of normalizes. You've got higher water flows, but there's shade from all the leaves that are out. So you don't have as large a fluctuation, um, typically, as in the winter. You know, and then when I say large, it could be like if there was a time, I think it was last year out, I was on a little brook trout stream. And I took water temp from like one hole to the next one had like stagnant water with all large kind of black boulders on it. And it was in clear sun. And that pool was like four degrees warmer than the pool that was like maybe a hundred yards upstream of it. Um, so it's just, and of course there was fish in that hole. <laughs> so it's like things like that just to pay attention to, um, because, you know, for the next several times that I go, then I just keep in my mind, Oh, you know, this hole, was warmer and always is warmer typically in the winter um and so fish that hole so it, it's helpful to have like a stream thermometer or something too as nerdy as that is you know that's not for everybody um but it, it can help i mean you, you catch more fish when you truly know what's going on in your in the river system or even if it's a little creek yeah i've got one of the fish pond aluminum ones and i've been known to clip it to my to my wading boot yep <laughs> I, i've seen people do that pretty fancy 
my problem is I'd forget it. And then like a week later, I'd be like, where the heck did I put that? <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, if folks can't get out and fish, the good news is not this weekend, but the 15th and 16th of January, they can uh, hang out with you at the Virginia Fly Fishing and Wine Festival in Doswell, Virginia. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there. Um, I've got a bunch of flies that I've been tying up that we'll have that are just some of my favorite like staple patterns. Um, we sometimes have them in the shop when I feel like tying a bunch of flies, but so we're going to bring some stuff like that. And then, like you said, um, be there to chat and hang out with whoever else that, uh, decides to show up. So, um, yeah, look forward to that. That'd be fun. Yeah. And so folks, that's going to be in Doswell, Virginia at the Meadow event park. And I think if you go, I think the URL for the festival is, is www.vaflyfishingfestival.org. Um, you can go check that out and find out about all the events and the vendors and everything else. And, you know, Ethan, uh, we'll give people an excuse because it's early in the year and people, I'm getting back in the groove, you're getting back in the groove, and our listeners need to get back in the groove. We don't have a question, but next time we're going to draw, and you want to let folks know what the drawing is going to be for the folks that asked a question in 2021? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to give away a $100 gift card to the shop that uh, we'll be able to email on over to you. So you'll be able to pick up a couple things. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Very generous $100 gift uh, gift certificate, uh, and we'll draw next time. And, uh, you know, folks, you've got some options, right? Brook Trout Fishing is going to be good probably in three or four days, maybe a little bit longer. Get out there and catch a few of those or maybe head over to the Virginia Fly Fishing and Wine Festival and I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Happy 2022. Uh, Happy new year, Ethan. Same to you. Yeah, tight lines, everybody.